Attention all my Chipotle lovers. Are you as excited as me about Chipotle's new Pollo El Pastor menu item? Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this new Chipotle favorite with my viral Chipotle chicken recipe infused with the new El Pastor sauce, tangy lime, and fresh cilantro. Not only will you save on double meat, but also on unnecessary trips to the bathroom. So buckle up and let's do this thing. But first, you might be wondering, Chris, how do you know it's in the recipe? Well, we know from a news article from cleveland.com referencing Chipotle that the recipe is a blend of the flavor of adobo, morita peppers, ground achiote with a splash of pineapple and fresh lime, along with freshly chopped cilantro. So I took all this into account when creating this recipe for you guys. All right, let's make our adobo marinade. Add two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, four garlic cloves, one teaspoon of some dried oregano or oregano, <laughs> two tablespoons of olive oil, four chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, along with all the sauce from the can. Grab your blender of choice and blend on high. Slowly add three-fourths cup of water and make sure to stir so that it blends faster. Next, let's add our adobo marinade to eight chicken thighs. Mix this around until every crevice is fully covered. While that's marinating in the fridge for eight hours or overnight, let's talk quickly about the El Pastor sauce. I actually found a video online of a Chipotle employee telling us that the El Pastor sauce was based upon traditional El Pastor ingredients, but with the added morita peppers, achiote powder, and pineapple juice. Not only that, but it was macerated together with cilantro and lime juice, and tossed together with the adobo chicken. From there, I knew exactly that the El Pastor sauce was not a marinade, but rather a sauce. Now I'm gonna show you how I figured out the perfect combination. You will need one ancho chili, six morita peppers, two guajillo chilies, and we will de-seed and de-vein all of them. Make sure to remove as many of the seeds as possible to avoid having them in our sauce. Add all of the peppers to a pot of water and turn the heat on high to get the water boiling. Once boiling, turn the heat down to a simmer and let it sit for 20 minutes. Now after 20 minutes, let's remove our peppers and make our El Pastor sauce. This will be one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of achiote powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, two tablespoons of each of apple cider vinegar and water, one third cup of canned pineapple juice. I forgot to film this, but add one chipotle pepper and adobo sauce for extra smokiness. This time I'm gonna blend this in a smaller blender to ensure all peppers are completely blended smooth with the other ingredients. Blend until well combined, and there you have it, the El Pastor sauce. Now that our chicken is marinated, let's cook it over a medium high heat on a cast iron skillet. And remember, this will smoke out your apartment like mace, so I suggest opening doors or windows. Once you have a nice Dr. Pepper char, let's flip the chicken. Once it's reached at least 165 degrees, you can pull the chicken out. Cut the chicken lengthwise and flip horizontally and then cut into 3 4 inch cubes. Don't pay attention to my cutting technique either. And this is looking exactly like Chipotle to me. Now let's macerate our sauce with 2 teaspoons of lime juice, 1 tablespoon of cilantro, 4 teaspoons of our El Pastor sauce, Macerate this thoroughly and add eight ounces of our cooked chicken. I found that this is the perfect combination for a meal that serves for two people. Depending on how much chicken you want to eat right away, you can multiply the final sauce ratio by any factor to get your desired output. And check out our glorious chicken. And here is our moment of truth. Oh my gosh, guys, this tastes exactly like Chipotle. It's sweet, spicy, and smoky. It's everything you'd want to be able to make at home. There's literally no difference in how this tastes and how Chipotle tastes. 
I don't think I can get you guys any closer. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see next.